Uganda's agricultural productivity and competitiveness can only be achieved once provisions within the national land policy are fully implemented by all stakeholders. About 5 to 11 percent of Uganda's agricultural production is lost to land disputes and land dispute resolution services are understaffed and unfunded. Land policy approval uh, in 2013 by the government is definitely a milestone and it's one that we need to applaud uh, and it's going to be supported by the UN. Development partners have also underscored the need to have key issues such as governance on land, documentation and certification procedures, as well as processes, among others, are efficiently upheld. There's a rapid organization happening, particularly in Uganda. I think the, the, um, the rate is, is, is more than 10%. I mean, it's, it's, it's above more than the average rate of organization within, within Africa. And, and, and it's a challenge because we're not ready for it. And we need to prepare for it. They were speaking at the National Stakeholders Workshop on the National Land Policy that is seeking to harmonize views towards implementation. The argument they have is that uh, once you have resources, you should be able to access land and develop it and, and use it. Now for us, we are looking, as a civil society, we look at the majority of poor Ugandans, the majority of people who know nothing more than land. Among others, government is seeking to define areas and modes of engagement that are essential in ensuring cost-effective implementation of the national land policy. Our problems as a ministry are bound to multiply. If there are people who are prepared to watch and celebrate over the piece of land they have and they are not utilizing it. To me, I think that's our single biggest threat to land and the source of conflict to most of the land. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.